Hi, this is Monk from Team Liquid, and I'm here with Acer Scarlet at the Red Bull Washington DC Battlegrounds. Hello. Um, we're going to do another pretty awkward interview by Team Liquid of Acer Scarlet. Hopefully, it'll be better than last time. Um, I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been doing these couple of days? These couple of days? Yeah, a couple of days, couple of weeks, couple of months, I guess. Well, these couple of days are fun, but I didn't do as well as expected. That's, that's too bad. Uh, you've been doing like a lot of uh, like kind of cheesy stuff, and we haven't seen that a lot from you the like past tournaments over the past few years. But this tournament, it was like every game was like something non-standard. Like, did you have like a game plan, like a specific game plan going into this of doing things that would throw your opponents off? Against Parting, I had a plan beforehand. But against the Terran players, I just didn't know how to beat Terran, so I just decided to do random stuff and hope it worked. But yeah, against Parting, it was planned. Did you, uh, you haven't beaten Parting before, right? And how, how did it feel the first two, uh, the first two games where you took him down with like some pretty crazy strats? He was uh, coming back, kind of, but not really. It must have felt good, right? Yeah, it feels really good, especially because Parting is a player that used to just Immortal Century every game. I lost to that in WCS 2012 Grand Finals, so it's nice to give Protoss a taste of their own medicine. Now, after each game, I saw you like uh, kind of looking at a computer screen, like smiling a bit. Like, what, what were you looking at exactly? And were you looking at anything that I said in particular? Um, I read the Team Liquid Live Report threads between games because it's very amusing to read what everyone says, all the haters. Do you have anything to say in one particular poster? No, not this time. Okay. Well, next time you'll show them up. You'll show them, right? Yeah. Next time. Next time. All right. So, a lot has changed about you since I last saw you. You kind of cut your hair. Like, has anyone asked you about that yet? No, nobody. You're the first person. Oh wow! I feel so honored to to be the first to ask you this great question. So, what prompted you? What prompted you to? get this change of pace in your uh, in your hair region? Well, I wanted to for a long time, so I decided I'm going to get it cut. I, want, I wanted to before I left Korea because there's a Korean haircut I like, so yeah. Do you get the same haircut like every time from that Korean haircutter and then this one time you're like, oh, just like make it this like special style? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, it's this is probably actually the least awkward interview we've ever done. So just, uh, it's pretty going pretty well, would you say? It's going all right. So last time we talked, you kind of uh, you kind of bashed LOL and you kind of bashed Hearthstone. Now uh, you know I play Hearthstone these days, right? So do you, do you still think that uh, Hearthstone? You're a monk, right? I am monk. Yes. Okay, yeah. I said that in the beginning of the interview. In fact, were, were you not paying attention? <laughs> of course not. Okay. There's going to be a test at the end of this, you know? Sure. Okay, are you going to do well? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, what were you saying about Hearthstone though? Oh yeah, do you still think they're like casual, no skill, like shots fired kind of games? Well, I can't say that about Hearthstone anymore because one of my friends is a pro Hearthstone player, so... But lol, yeah, still. Okay, well, well who's a pro Hearthstone player? Tides of Time. Oh wow, uh, how do you know him? He's like a pretty chill guy. I used to play Dota 1 with him like four years ago. Wow, like uh, professionally or? No, 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 just for fun. We would just troll the tier 2 leagues, the tier 2 pub leagues. I'll uh, make sure to send uh, your regards. I'm actually going to see him like in one week. Do you have anything you want to like give me, like to, to give to him as a present maybe? <sighs> You should have told me that before him, because I would have brought something. Really? You can buy like a souvenir from DC or something. It's a bit late for that. I'll just send him something. Because he sent me a birthday present last year. Oh, a giant cute. stuffed white tiger. Oh, this is like uh, kind of like friendship between games, right? We're, we're like crossing the borders, like we were, we're getting the StarCraft uh, elitist to like kind of accept the Hearthstone players and vice versa, right? Yeah, but I still have to say magic is better. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think you brought that up last time, and you were saying that like how Magic is just like a better game in general. So I don't know if I agree with that, but uh, you don't. I, I never played Magic. Then how can you not? Know, how can you say that? Because I like to judge things that I have no idea about. Just like me. Oh yeah, yeah. We're, we're kind of very similar, right? Pretty much. I actually did play League of Beta though. So I don't know if that counts or not. Probably not. But. 
Okay. Um, well, this is actually, is this like the first time we've seen this new shirt of Acer's? What do you mean? Like, you guys, you guys wore like the, the all green shirt that like this got one guy named Wax Angel really hates, right? <laughs> He's like right there. Yeah. Except, hey Wax Angel, where are you? Oh, Wax. <laughs> Yeah. I think he's doing an interview right now, actually. I've worn it before at tournaments, but never in a team with an interview. Okay. Um, well... Is, is there a max time for this or something? There is? Okay, so... Why? should probably... I don't know. There's other people. Oh, there's, there's other people waiting. It's okay, we have all day. We have all day? So you're saying that we should, like, keep going? Okay. <laughs> we're, we're getting, like, the go-ahead to, like, kind of stop this interview, cut it short. Maybe we'll talk a bit later. But uh, do you have anything to say to your loyal fans and perhaps your, your haters on Team Liquid live report threads? Um, no, this time I don't really have anything to say. It's pretty lame. Yeah. Well, what, what, do you, what do you want me to say? Uh, like, F the haters or something. Or something like, something that we can use as a quote at the top of the interview to like really attract people to watch the interview. I forgot you. Always do that. You have nothing to listen to me, right? What? You have nothing to use to listen to me, right? Maybe I do. I don't know. I have to find like. Just, well, just if you don't, that's perfect. Because I want to see what you come up with. Okay. I think that ends the interview. Does? No. Okay. No, no.